Let's look at another example. A student takes a multiple choice test. There are 10 questions with four possible answers. Unfortunately, the student has attended very few lessons and so has to guess. The student gets five questions right. Is the student's method of missing lessons and guessing a good strategy? The student claims to be an inspired guesser. Test at the 5% significance level whether his claim is justified. OK, well, I hope that um, some of you aren't in this position. So um, first of all, first step, we've got to figure out what we're going to let P be. So let P be the probability, in this case, of getting a question right. OK, now, because he's going into this, uh, or she, um, the student's going into this exam and outright guessing, OK, knows none of the material and is just guessing, um, that means because the question has a four possible answers, it's a one in four punt, OK, one in four guess. So we're going to put it at 0.25 or P equals 0.25. That's the devil's advocate position. OK? H1, the alternative hypothesis. Well, the student uh, believes that they're an inspired guesser. And so that would infer that they believe that they have a greater than a quarter chance of getting the question right. And so they think that the probability is actually greater than 0.25. So assuming that H0 is true, we're going to set up a binomial distribution with an n, a number of trials. Well, there are 10 questions, OK? So that's the number of trials, with a probability of getting each one correct of 0.25. So we want to calculate the probability that x is going to be greater than or equal to 5. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, first off, this inequality symbol and this inequality symbol, as I've shown before, must be pointing in the same direction. That's the first thing. But why? Well. The reason why we're not just looking at probability of x being equal to 5 is because we're trying to determine whether five, getting 5 or more right is significant or not. OK? So we're not just looking at x is equal to 5. We look at 5 or more. So is uh, 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 Getting any of those amounts of questions right, is that significant or not? That's what we're testing here. So we need to work out that probability. So we've got to go to the tables. So get your formula tables at the ready. And we are going to n is 10. OK, so this is on page 13. So n is 10 and probability of 0 0.25. And we want greater than or equal to 5. So just before I do that, that's 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 4, isn't it? OK, so that's 1 take away. So 4 would be 0 0.9219. 0 0.9219. Now that is 0 0.0781, OK? So that's the probability that I'm looking for. Now that is greater than the 5% significance level. So the probability that we've looked at hasn't quite reached that significance level. So because it hasn't quite reached it, it's not less than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. OK, so there is insufficient evidence to 
to say that the student may be an inspired guesser. So we've got to make sure we write it in context. So ultimately, um, although he may well be an inspired guesser, ultimately we don't have any evidence to support that claim. Okay? So there are some key bits to pick up in this example. It's really this inequality situation, and making sure you know that if you've got an alternative hypothesis with properties greater than 0.25 in this case, then this is also a greater than symbol, or a greater than or equal to symbol. Okay? So if it's less than, less than or equal to. Greater than, greater than or equal to. Okay? So keep that in mind when you work through these problems.